economic hardship has been the driving force behind the uprisings that have displaced two presidents in the last two years. It's the weak spot that Morsi supporters are hoping to exploit following recent setbacks and the crackdown on its leaders. Plans were discovered with arrested brotherhood leaders to target the economy and turn the people on the government. They would sabotage vital sources of income such as tourism, investments and the Suez Canal. Add to this the militant attacks in Sinai as well. This week an attack on the Suez Canal was foiled by the military and a bomb was defused at the main train station in Alexandria. When four Brotherhood members were caught with 23 bombs on the way to an industrial city, many were quick to spot a trend that may point to a new strategy from the Brotherhood to sabotage the economy. The Muslim Brotherhood knows that Egyptians have no more patience. It hopes that by keeping tourists and investors away, there will be no improvements in living conditions and people will topple the current leadership just like they did with Morsi. The sentiment is shared by a portion of the population. Morsi blamed Mubarak's remnants for his failure. We don't want a similar talk. We've lost our jobs in the last three years and we want improvements now. As it's about to be disbanded, there was no official reply from the Muslim Brotherhood on government claims that it is trying to undermine its development programs. But with Arab aid at its disposal, the government seems confident of success. We are adamant to continue on our path with the aim of improving the living conditions of the people. Social justice for all is our main goal. Experts say for social justice to be achieved, security and stability should first be retained. Economic sabotage might be the new plan of action by the Muslim Brotherhood, but what Egyptians expect after years of unrelenting political and economic turmoil is not finger pointing by the new leadership, but action to restore the shattered Egyptian economy. Yasser Hakim for CCTV, Cairo.